like explain more please like you said in divinity yes like can you describe the divinity of god god is divine describe god consciousness describe he's, god he's a supreme personality i don't know he's the one i don't know is god a human no so love is lord krishna a human no he's divine but he was a man yes you said incarnation. incarnation but that's not see that's how we as christians you understand like jesus is god you know say right so you understand he's divine he's not really a human human that you and me are it's different so are you saying god and you know what i prefer that because god is then close to us you know then someone just being there and i don't know how he looks like i don't even know if he exists so i prefer what we actually believe in as hindus and i'm not the best person to describe it because i'm not too religious and i can't explain as a person who is a learned hindu can explain the, the, so i'm the worst person to debate with being no it's I'm, not about debate no 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 it's about discussing i will feel like discussing. i will be misrepresenting the yes. beliefs of hindus yes because i'm not religious okay i understand you yeah i understand you but what i'm saying is in islam let me explain to you about god god He's not human. First of all, yes. this is how we define God. He's not human. God is not human. I so agree. and God does not change his shape into human in Islam. Because by saying that in Islam we believe God is holy. He does not go to the toilet. He does not sleep. He does not change his shape. Even in the Bible it says God does not change his shape. Even in Islam we believe God does not change his shape. So if I see a man Rand a random man and he claims to be god you can't believe he's so god in different times i mean that's your okay. belief so now what am I, so and um, and um, do you believe lord krishna and ram they have parents parents yes do you know the story do they have lord parents krishna? does god have you know parents the story of lord krishna you explain it to me today. no explain uh, it to me it's quite different you can't say like they had parents they gave birth there are different stories and there's a reason why he came so they have different stories like yes, what and story? why they came i don't know too much into it that's why i'm not debating on this do you know one of them but, please like uh, no. do they have parents okay do they have parents yeah they came through uh, through parents parents yes wait i don't know No I'm pre I'm pretty sure because one of my Hindu friend and he used to go same school he told me they used to, they had parents I'm not sure Yeah but they were still divine they came as God's incarnation for a reason Okay they spread that So message. okay do you believe God has parents No God doesn't have but that incarnation And Lord Christ is Lord Krishna God Yes Yes, yes. so Lord Krishna has parents Yeah but he came And Lord as Rama has parents came as incarnation to spread a message through humans yeah so oh, okay so they have parents so and in the verse now you just read now we just read you it says there is no likeness of god Even so likeness the form as a man there's so no likeness to him. when we say there is no likeness to him which means in islam he does not have parents he does not have an uh, children no mom no dad no and 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 and, and, and no ancestors god was always god always existed his last first and last fair enough that's your way of believing i believe so you believe way this of way i believe my which way, way okay is more beautiful okay which way do you think is can say this way describes god as holy how god has parents and he stayed in his mom it comes to an incarnation to spread a message and you know what i believe that because i feel more closer to god then i would in any of the other way okay so which one do you prefer lord krishna or lord ram i feel more closer to lord krishna krishna yes so if you believe all of them are god why are you not giving same rights as the lord krishna no because see that's a very different concept that i think you have to open your mind more to understand it Okay, let's say now you have parents, mom and dad. Both of them they have same name parents, yes? So you give same rights. So since you believe Lord Krishna is God and Lord Ram is God and you said you believe more than Lord Krishna than the other one, so then you you are not you are not giving same Lord rights. Vishnu. They all are part of Lord Vishnu. But I believe more likeness in Lord because I love him. Which more. one is your more favorite? Lord Krishna but he's part of Vishnu if, so I love if you, Vishnu the most so if you I 
like that incarnation of Vishnu the most. So, if you are to worship um, um, one of them, who would you worship? I worship Lord Krishna. I worship multiple. I no, no. Who, who would you think? If someone I would give you an option. Many, many gods. Yes. But you prefer Lord Krishna. Yeah, in my person. Because I, I consider to him to be my brother. Like, in, that's my relationship with him. As God. So, if you, let's say, if you have, a, now you have parents, yes? Mom and dad. Lovely mom and dad. Yes. So, would you not give them same rights? No, they're human. No. I love my parents more than anybody. I know, but would you not give them same rights? Your parents? Would you favoritize one of them? Your mom and dad? You would give them... This one compare God with No, no, I'm just saying to you. That does so, not make no, sense. Do you know what? No, do you know? Okay, if I'm not comparing God... Uh, if you don't want me to compare God and parents... Okay, fine. So now let's compare God. So you say Lord Krishna is God and Lord Ram is God. So why can you not give them same rights? Why do you prefer you Lord Krishna more rights. than the they other have one? all same rights. It's because the time they came in, you can relate more to them. So it really depends. But is that not same God? It is the same. So why do you but prioritize Lord Krishna? We have freedom. We have that kind of freedom to, you know, be close to the God we believe in more. So you prioritize Lord Krishna and you believe all of them are I same God? I love Lord Ram also. I but you prefer Lord Krishna? I prefer because I have a special relationship with him, a special bond. Why? Can you tell me why, please? I have its personal reasons. No, you can tell me, please. I would like to hear from you. Tell you Politely. I don't have a brother. Huh? I don't have a brother. So I take him as my brother. Like He protects me like a brother. I love him like a brother. So are you saying... I have that freedom you know, have that relationship with my God. And I think that is good. That no other religion does offer. Okay, so now you say... So, to me, what I understood from you, you said you love Lord Krishna because he protects you more, yes? No, it's because I have that bond with him. Why? Be because you treat him as your brother? Yeah, I share that bond with him. Why no? If, so, you believe all of them are God, yes. but you treat Lord Krishna more than the other God? No, I never said that. I have a special bond with him. Doesn't special. mean I don't respect other gods. No, I'm not I, saying, but you respect more Lord same. Krishna no, than the other. I respect. I have a special bond with him. Bond is different. So why is special for this one? I don't know. I just have that. I feel spiritually more inclined towards him. That's it. But you said to me, Lord Krishna, Lord Ram, all of them incarnated. Yeah, but... They he, are all God. Yes, but so I... So if they are all God, one yes, God or two God? I feel more close in that form that he's taken to any other form. Okay. But I love and respect all of them equally. Okay, are they all one God or two yes. different gods? No, they all are Lord Krishna's incarnation. Oh, they're all one God, yes? One God. So if they are all one God, then Lord Krishna should be Lord Ram as well. Because all of them... They are the same. If they are the same, why do you prioritize times. Lord Krishna then? Because they have come in different times and they have different nature. Like how Lord Krishna is very playful, he's very friendly. I love that about him. You know, I am more spiritually inclined to him. Sister, do you understand what you said now? I am. Yes. But I think you don't understand. No, I understand what you said. No, no. I understand you said all of them, they incarnated the into is, humans. They are all God. One God. Yes. And you believe in a certain way that that God is. Okay. You're not more open to how Hinduism works. And for me, it's difficult to explain to you because I think there's a block and you don't understand how Hinduism operates. Okay, it's who has. More spiritual okay. And I can't explain. I only agree. I'm not a scholar in Hinduism. And I have not read much about Hinduism. But what I know, I love. I Lord know Krishna. Being spiritually open. I, I love my religion. Okay. And there's no one in this world that can do Okay. Who do you think has more power? Lord Krishna or Lord Ram? Who has more power? It doesn't matter. I know God has power. What and God? I don't have to, you know, okay. put that like, off. Oh, what God has power, has, please? I don't have to. Oh, you believe Bhagavad Gita? Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Bhagavad, okay. Bhagavad Gita chapter, verse 7, chapter 20 says, Those whose minds are distorted by material desire surrender unto demigods and follow the particular rule and regulation of worship according to their own desire. Those who are freed from all material contamination surrender unto the Supreme Lord and engage in His self devoted service. Yes. So, I mean, your book says yeah, only so engage yourself to one that? God. So that is true.
Okay. So if I am with Lord Krishna, that is still come from Lord Vishnu. So that is me surrendering. So who are the demigods? Who are the demigods? Who in this verse? Who are the demigods? Even the no, as I just said, I am not well versed with Hinduism. Can't ask me that. Okay, sister. Ask for somebody who is okay, called out. Okay, what verse is this? this is the Chapter 7, verse okay, 20. Sister. I'm just here to no problem. Yeah, sister, no problem. You're just discussing. Yeah. Nothing to worry. Don't worry about it. No, no, I'm not worried. Yeah, I'm don't worry. Yeah. No, we are welcoming you here, first of all. Nothing. You are safe here. As long as we are here, we are here to defend you. Don't worry. Nothing is going to happen to you. So, what I'm saying, sister. What God, do you believe God has power, yes? Yes. Okay, so what God has power, Lord Krishna or Lord Ram? But who had, has more oh. power? They have same power? Yes. They same are power? God. They are God. So why do you choose Lord Krishna then over Ram then, if they have same power? Inclined. The bond is different. But you believe all of them I are same, one God. So if it's you believe not, same, they are same God, I, you should choose all of them. No. I do choose all of them. I don't think I... What I believe personally and the bond I share, I need to explain that to any other person. I don't need to explain to anybody. Okay, can, this is my personal okay, belief. Okay, can God be creative? This is my sister. heart. This is my personal love. Yes, exactly. I have okay, wait. You know, Krishna, wait, wait. Yeah. which I will never, yes. or I have to defend it to anyone. Sister, can God be created? Power. No. Can God be created? No. So, can God born? He's an incarnation. The but incarnation, that born. incarnation, he born, yes, from yes, his mom. Yes. Can God born? I don't know if he was from the mother. There are different stories, so I can't tell. I'm not a scholar. Yes, okay, who right. created uh, Lord Krishna's mom? Okay, who created Lord Krishna's you know, mom? That's why. No, I understand. I think because I don't think you understand the concept of incarnation, the yes. No, I understand your incarnation, but what I'm asking is. Who created Lord Krishna's mom? She was human. Who human? But she Who was, created she was her? Given God. Who God, created her? God created her. God, what God created her? You know we have the destroyer, creator and the maintainer of Who is the creator? I think it's Brahma. Brahma is the creator. Yeah. And Lord Krishna is what? He's the incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Vishnu. So what what is the job of Lord Krishna? Time wait, wait. To spread different brother, brother, please. thank you, thank you. No, I want you to respect the sister. Okay. You can't. No, you said confused. You can't say confused. Say sister. No, no, he's saying it's confusing. No, not you. He's saying I'm confused. Okay, sister. See, I think it's different because Hinduism is very Okay, tell me spiritual. what God creates. What God creates? Hinduism is a very spiritual religion. And okay. It's unfair for me to explain it as a lay person. Okay. Um, I would be disrespecting it and I would be misrepresenting the Hindus around the world. Sister. Um, no, it's not correct on my part because I am not that religious. I'm okay. very spiritually, I'm more spiritual yes. and I love Lord Krishna. I bond with him and that's my person. Is Lord Krishna a creator? The God of creator? No. So, His incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Vishnu. What is the job of Lord Vishnu? No, I can't explain Please, that. Sister, I'm a lay this. person. Oh, who is, okay, what God is the creator? Tell me the name of the God, that God, creator God. I think it's Brahma. Ram, eh? Brahma. Okay, Brahma. So, Brahma is the one who created Lord Krishna's mom, yes? Yes? Maybe, I don't know. Because you said he's the creator. Yeah, but I'm a Brahma is person. the creator of the Lord Krishna's mom. I am a mom. person. You have to ask somebody who's well versed in Hinduism to so, debate. Okay, so Lord Krishna was created by Brahma because he's the creator. I don't. You just said Lord Brahma yeah, is the creator, sister. That, I know that, but I don't know the base. Like, I'm not into the religion. So I'm like the worst person to okay. talk about Hinduism. Okay, sister, if I ask you one question politely, yeah? let's say you're the president in a country. You are president. You are the president of India now, let's say example. Can we have in India two presidents at the same time? Oh, I've heard this before. Can we Somebody have? Somebody trying to argue with me Okay, that. can we have same president in India? No, because you know what? That doesn't apply to Hinduism. Okay, so now, That's okay, let me give you an example. Okay, let me give you an example, sister. If Lord Krishna wants to rule India and Lord Brahma wants to rule India, who would have more power? That's not how Hinduism works. That's not how, how we believe Hinduism works. Okay. I think this is a 
thing I cannot explain because I'm a lay person. Do you believe a country can have two presidents? No, you can't compare two presidents, politics, humans, to something that is so, religious. So, but you believe God, we in this world we can have many gods, Lord Krishna, Lord Ram, yes. and Prama. Yes. Yes. Prama is the creator. Yes. Yes. And um, Lord yes. Krishna is the incarnation of God. Yes. What God? Of uh, Vishnu. Not the incarnation of Prama. So technically, Lord Krishna is not Lord uh, and Prama. They have their own. There's a creator, there's a maintainer, and there's a destroyer. That's how we believe in Krishna. Sister, look, I'll repeat what you said. You said Lord Krishna is God incarnation, God. He incarnated. He's God, but incarnated into human. Lord Ram. Is God incarnated into human? Lord Brahma is God incarnated into human? But Lord Brahma is not incarnated. Well, it's not incarnated. That's the b major one, the biggest God. One of them. One uh, is the biggest one, yes? The creator one. Yes, Brahma. Okay, Brahma is the creator. But Lord Krishna is God, but he's not creator. Yes? And you believe God is the creator? The incarnation of Lord Vishnu. You're confusing No, yourself. I understand the incarnation. Okay, I will repeat for you. Is Lord Krishna creator? Hold on. You're majorly confused. Okay. And I've heard these arguments from okay. people leaving Hindu. Yes. And you can't compare politics, humans, presidents, prime ministers, all of those things to something that is so spiritually superior. Yes. Hindu is very spiritually superior. And yes. I'm the worst person to debate about it. Yes. Uh, but you know what I believe? Everybody's religion to themselves. I don't debate about religion. It's a personal thing, and my personal bond with Lord Krishna, I'm not defending, I'm not explaining to anybody, because that is my personal belief, that's my personal bond, that's my personal Sister, love. Sister, can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you believe your religion is the correct religion? You know what, I don't care. No, do you believe? No, according to you. Yeah, I, I do believe it's good, but you know what, I think we need no, to No, do you believe it's the religion. correct religion? I yes. don't, firstly, I don't need to defend Hinduism. But do you believe that to call people to your religion? I don't call people to my religion. That's not my job. So, okay, where will they go other than uh, the Hindu? Where will they go if I they die? I don't need to tell people what they should do. Would God punish them should... other than Hindu? What would God do? The thing is, we don't insult people from other religions. Yes. We don't uh, keep names for them. We believe in freedom of religion. Believe what you want to believe. I believe in what I want to believe. Let's live and let live. You know, I think that will be a much peaceful world than trying to tell other people, you are wrong, your religion is wrong. No, no. You're this, you're that. Sister. Yeah, I'm not into that. Okay, my Allah, Allah God in Islam, He's the creator, He's the all powerful, He does everything by Himself. He's self sufficient. But your God. That's good. Same God, Great for you. Lord Krishna, is not the creator, but he's God. Great for you. And you believe Lord okay. Vishnu you know is the creator. I actually don't mind so how can Lord Krishna be God if he's not the creator? And you're confusing yourself. Yes. But you know what? It's fine. Um, your religion to you, great. Who what brings the rain? Sister, who great brings the rain? Huh? If Lord Krishna says, I want you rain. How rain comes, I think science explains that really well. But is that not the power of God? No, it's science explains it really well. How Do you believe science comes? or God? Huh? Do you believe science or you your book? I believe in science. Over your book or your scriptures? Because our our religion doesn't say don't believe in science. But science what if science, science goes okay, what if science goes against your it scriptures? It doesn't. Shall I give you one example? Shall I give you an example? Your religion go against Science, no, my religion. No, no, no. I'm saying in Islam, in Islam, in Islam, if science goes against my religion, I'm not taking science. So, do you take That's science possible. over your religion? Yes, science. Do you take science? Always, Always science. Yes. Over your scripture. Yes, I believe in science. See, I'm not very okay. religious. Okay, if you believe but science, believe then science how can you believe your religion is the correct science, religion then? You're ignorant. Okay, so you now. Sister, sister, science says anything that you cannot see and touch does not exist. And they, it says God does not exist. Most of the sci scientists are atheists. They believe God does not exist. Do you That's believe science then? I, be I don't believe in what the scientists believe. I believe the discoveries they make. 
but not everything they say. How can you not when there is evidence? Do you believe everything science says is true? Or you believe in, in some cases? No, some... if there is science, I study, like I read books. And yes. if something, there's research going on, there's science, there's everything, whatever, then you believe in it. What? But science says there's no God, most of them. They okay, say there's no why. God. Do you believe God doesn't, there's I no God? I don't care what they believe in. But you just said, that I believe what science says. I believe in what science teaches us about the universe, about the planets, about medical research, about, you know, all of those kind of, okay. about discovery. Can you tell me, sister, one thing, where is Lord Krishna now? Huh? When, where is Lord Krishna? Oh, he's, he's God, he's in heaven, right? He's going to. We do. All of them, where are they? Where is Lord Krishna, you Lord Ram, Brahma? My God is above. Yes. Yeah, my also God is above. All of them? Yes. All of them? Yes. So one is the creator, the other one is what? Who is the creator? Rishnu. You know what? No, you're mistaken. I think the Who's thing the creator? is, you're confused. Um, I can't explain Hinduism to you. I'm not the best person. Again, I'm saying this. I'm a lay person. Um, a scholar would be able to explain that to you. But me, I'm happy where I'm at. I just came to the park to have a walk. I hate debating about religion. Sister. But I'm very happy in my space. No problem. Thank you. Do you and believe God? God is the creator? Only God is the creator. Do you believe that? Yes? I don't care actually. No, do you believe? Yes. No, do you believe only God is the creator? He made all of us. Humans, all of us. Yes, do you believe Not that? Just humans. He made yes, everything. everything I'm saying. Yes? So, and you said to me, Lord Krishna is not the creator. So if Lord Krishna is not the creator, okay, no, no, no. No, I know incarnation is God. Explaining any to you, anything to you beyond that goes beyond your religion okay. is a waste of Okay, what about Lord Ram? I don't have the Ram. Is the Ram Lord Ram creator? Is the Ram creator system? I just told you their incarnation. I know incarnation, but are they the creator? That's not how Hinduism works, oh my days. So, but to somebody who's learned, again I will tell you, yes. I'm a lay person, yes. I'm not the best person to explain. And if I try to explain, yes. I think people will abuse me. No, no, uh, no, 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 no <laughs> one. Like, Sister, stop guarantee, no, no, no one can not touch them. you. No. The people who actually learn will be like, you no. should not talk unless no, you know. No, 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 no. Sister, we are here to learn from each other. I'm humble in myself. No, I believe no, you know many things that I, 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 I do not know. Don't we all? Yes. Don't we all? So what I'm trying to learn from you is... You can't learn religion from me. Lord Ram, Lord Ram is the incarnation. Lord Krishna is the incarnation. Brahma, and is there any other God, Lord, uh, who incarnated? Tell me. If I try to explain these things to you, it might take until tomorrow or the afternoon. No, just a few, just a few minutes, sister. Explain to me. I will listen to you. So now, my my understanding, you said Lord Ram is God, incarnated. All of them are God. Yes. So, and the definition of God you gave it to me is the Creator. And you said Lord maintainer Krishna, and yes, destroyer. maintainer. So who's the destroyer? Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva. So Lord Shiva is the maintainer. And Lord Vishnu oh is the creator. Again. So, the and you believe God. all of them are God? Yes. One God? Or oh, two gods, three gods? Three gods? Yeah. Three gods? Yeah. Okay, so three gods. But each one of them have different power, is that what you're saying? Yes? No, I cannot answer that. Do they have the same power? I can't answer that. So how can they all be God and the definition of God is all that. powerful? I can't answer that because I am not a learned Hindu. You need to debate a learned Hindu. Sister, you just say Lord Krishna is not the creator. Lord Prish he's Vishnu. I know, but he's God. Yeah, so? If he incarnated, See, is he human? The way we believe in religion is very different to the way you believe. So it's going to be very hard for you to reconcile with our beliefs. Uh, but you know what? I can't debate beyond that because it's not I'm about not debating learned. Sister. No, no, no. It's, I can't. I can't because I've not um, learned enough to do that. But I'm very happy in what I believe in. And, yeah, what if what you believe it doesn't make sense? It does make sense to me. Perfect. It makes sense. Perfect. So God is all powerful. One of them, I can't, Lord Krishna, no, I is not the creator. Shiva not is the maintainer. Jesus. But Lord Krishna is not the maintainer. But they are all God, Sister. If they are all no, God, why can they not do the same your thing? way of understanding how God and your religion is, it's very limited. So I can't go beyond and explain. And firstly, I'm not learned enough to explain. 
बट फॉर मी माई रिलीजन मेक्स द बेस्ट सेंस एवर एंड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी आई डोंट नीड टू डिफेंड इट इट्स टू ग्रेट फॉर मी टू डिफेंड I don't need to defend. I'm just you believe a human. God is all powerful. I am a mere unlearned Sister, Hindu woman. Sister, you believe God is all powerful. Yes. Powerful. So he can do everything. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So if God can do everything, can Lord Krishna create? Again, I'm going to tell you. Ask no, the just tell me Hindu please, person. Sister. No, I cannot ask. see. You just I call me Lord know. Vishnu. Is the creator. Prama, I mean Prama is the creator. Krishna, um, you know Shiva is, is the maintainer. See, you know what? It's very hard to explain because our religion is so old and it's so spiritually advanced. For me to sit and explain, it's gonna be like nah. Is Allah, uh, sister? Allah is the creator, maintainer, all powerful, no parents. He does everything by himself. He's self-sufficient. Okay. And gods, many gods, three gods. Good for you. Who does not have same power? No, it's not and you the way choose you which one you want you to. You don't understand the way Hinduism works, but good for you. You can follow your religion, be happy with it, live and let live, right? Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm getting. Okay, one verse I'll give you from the Hindu scripture. The Hindu scripture says, "Those who worship created man, created man." But that's different. That's an incarnation. Created man. No, okay. Is so created man. And you have to give me the verse where it comes from. Yes, it says clearly. I know. I don't know the verse Because, number. No. But I know it but says. But which verse? I will We show you. We have many books. So you, you believe only you cherry pick the book? I don't. I can't cherry pick it. I have to Islamic learn it from God. the start. Huh? Tell her Islamic God. I yeah, I told her Islamic God. Okay, sister. Sister. No way. Your Islamic God to you, my Hindu no, God to me. No, no, I told her. I, I know the concept. I know yeah, the I told concept. her. My Allah does not have parents, no children. But you know what? He does not sleep. He does not look like his creatures. He does everything. He does. He's the creator. He's all powerful. He's everything. He does everything by himself. He's self-sufficient. So, sister, be happy in your religion. I'm happy in mine. Let's live and let live. And I'm not going to Sister, but you believe in India? Can they have three prisons at the same time? You firstly, you can't compare that concept of comparing. Comparing. But if it's okay, poor. what if Lord Krishna says, "I want to do this," and Lord Ram says, "I want to do this," who would you take? Okay, anyways. Okay, yeah. Anyways. Uh, okay, okay, okay. That's okay. She, the sister just told me there is Lord Krishna, there is Lord and, and Shiva, there is Lord Brahma. Lord Shiva is the maintainer. Lord Krishna, she loves more than others. Lord Krishna, and she said the creator one is Lord and Lord and and Prama. Prama, Prama is the creator. I think she said, and Vishnu is the im and. And and uh, Lord and Rish Krishna took the image of he's the image of Lord Vishnu, but not the image of Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma. But she believes all of them are same God, not same God, but all of them are gods, but different gods. So here's the question I ask her: Who's the creator? She said Lord, and Lord Brahma is the creator. And she's I ask who created the mom, the mother of the parents of Lord Krishna. She's a Lord Prama created. If Lord Prama created Lord Krishna's mom and Lord and Krishna himself, because if his mom is created by Lord Prama, then Lord Krishna was created by Lord Prama. But she favoritized Lord Krishna. She said he's my like my brother than the rest. And she believes all of them are God, but she's not giving all her God same rights. It's like me having parents, my mom and dad, and I've given them different rights. Not equally. I'm not treating my mom and my dad equally. But she prefers Lord Krishna more than the rest of the God. And all of them have different roles of duty, different roles. So you can tell. I would I would say, may Allah guide the sister. She knows what she's talking is confusing, and she's also admitting Lord Krishna is not the creator, but the main one who creates. And she said all of them have different roles. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.